Oh, it wasn't necessarily the prettiest win, but what can you say about your team's effort to keep fighting until the final minute? Yeah, uh, like you said, it wasn't the prettiest win, but at, at the end, all that matters, we came out here with two points. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the first period definitely wasn't, wasn't our game. Uh, I'm not afraid to say that. I think everybody saw that, and uh, I think we got a little bit too cocky uh, after that early lead and uh, made us pay, and after the after second goal, we, we were back to our game, and uh, we controlled it, I feel like, and uh, just played our game, and uh, we battled and skated more, and and uh, we have to do it three periods because uh, the first period wasn't good at all. It was a little bit of a stretch there, about three games in four days technically. How do you feel like that impacted today? Yeah, um, definitely, uh, like I can just talk for me. Uh, uh, I definitely uh, didn't feel the freshest, but uh, hey, the, everybody goes through it. Like everyone, every team has a tough schedule and uh, that was one of the games one o'clock game after a back to back. Uh, it's not easy, but uh, we grinded it out and uh, got those two points. That's what we were looking for. You scored 11 seconds into that third period. What was said in the locker room that really got you all to jump off quick? Just, uh, I f feel like even in the second period, like I said, after we, yeah. we got scored on, the, on that PK, uh, we started playing our own game. And uh, we knew like if we keep playing 20 minutes like that, uh, we'll get our chances, we'll get our goals. And uh, we just came out. Uh, playing the right way, and uh, Pally made a great play there. And uh, yeah, so it was a big goal for us. You know, what, sorry, you know what a special player Jack is, but how, how awesome is it to see him score the goal like that with like eight seconds left? Oh. That one feels good, especially uh, after we, we slept in the first and but battled back. And uh, at the end, I still feel uh, we deserved it uh, to go to OT and, uh, and then huge shootout win. So uh, we, take to, we take those two points for sure. So it was definitely a cool moment. Second game with a lot of penalties. What does this team need to do to clean up that area? Just be more disciplined. That's it. Uh, be more disciplined. Uh, be more skating instead of uh, uh, reaching. So uh, be more disciplined, uh, but uh, still keep playing hard. Was it necessarily the prettiest of wins, but your team pulled it out? What did it take for you all to get those two points tonight? No, it was awful way to win, but uh, you know that's what good teams do. And uh, you know, obviously, we had to overcome the fatigue. You know, it's the third game in four of night and. We didn't get much rest, so uh, you know we had to simplify the game and start playing a little more, you know, quicker and more simple. And uh, I think we did. You know, we battled till the end, got a huge goal at the end, and you know, win it in a shootout. And for you, have you ever seen something like a door problem like that that had a stoppage, and you guys had to play three extra minutes in that second period? I actually seen a lot of stuff, you know, through through my career, but. Um, you know, we were thinking how long it will take, uh, but they were super fast. You know, they make it very easy on us, so it was a good job by them. A lot of penalties in this one second straight game. What needs to be improved to stop taking so many? You know, we, uh, like I said, you know, we looked a little fatigued. You know, when, you, when you're tired, you're not moving your legs, you're not skating properly, and then, you know, the hooks and the other stuff comes. And uh, I think we're going to clean it up for sure. You know, we will talk about it, but I think we're going to have a lot more energy, you know, in next game. And it was a huge win, and we overcome the fatigue, and um, we battle as a team, and we, we got two points huge. Heading so, sometimes when you score early goals like that, does that cause fatigue because you score early and then you have the, you know, so much of the period where you? I don't think we start well either, to be honest. You know, they had more shots. We scored a goal, but then, you know, they were pushing and we had to, we had to stay, keep it together, and you know, not let them score. You know, after that little break, you know, they scored two, and you know, we talked about it, what we have to do better and to be successful in this game. You've had 11 points in 11 games coming into this one. You contribute again tonight. I know you've talked about wanting to have a big impact. What has really worked for you in that stretch of game? Uh, I think, I, I don't know, really, to be honest. We are, you know, as a team, we're playing very well. We're winning. You know, we won, I think, four, four in a row and uh, four on this road trip. So, you know, when the team's winning, I think individuals stand up and everything's kind of coming together. And, you know, uh, to be honest, I think everybody's playing well. Everybody's shipping in. So there is a lot of guys who contribute at the moment. Obviously, Jack is a good player, but how, how great is it for him to score a goal like that for you guys in, within the last eight seconds of the game to set the overtime? Yeah, I think he can score at any time, to be honest. Uh, he's always so dangerous offensively. So. Um, you know, things are going right way for him. But like I said, even with this, because we are playing well and we are winning, you know, it's easier for everybody, you know, to play with confidence. And he's having a tremendous, you know, streak right now. And it's fun to watch. When Lindy, it wasn't the best day for the 
the devil, but it ended with the win. What did it take today? Well, it's just have to find a way to win. I mean, obviously, we got a little bit of a lucky break with the, the tying goal. Uh, but, you know, we weren't very good early on. I think that first 25 minutes, uh, I, don't, I didn't think we started playing until the game was 2-1. No excuses, of course, but the fact that it was three games in less than four days, did that play a role? I, you know, I think we had some fatigue. Um, it didn't seem like we skated very well. I think uh, we found another gear once once we got going. Uh, but, you know, all teams have tough schedules, and you got to fight your way through it and manage the puck and uh, shorten your shifts. Like I said, uh, we found a way. Catherine Boger. Different line changes throughout the game. Again, what did you want to switch around and playing players like Jack Hughes and Michael McLeod a little bit more in that one? Uh, yeah, you know, I think we, we, I guess I, decided to get down to three lines and then uh, double shift Jack a little bit, um, see if we could find, just find another gear. Uh, nothing more than that. So when you're doing that, you're, you're moving a lot of pieces around. When you look at all those penalties, second straight game with a little bit more than the Devils would want, would you contribute that more to the tiredness or just something the team needs to clean up? Uh, you know, I think when you're, you're a little tired, your mental fatigue is there, so too, too many men on the ice, uh, you know, that's something we have to clean up. That's, uh, you know, that's between the coaches, players. That's not totally on them, so, uh, but it's an area that we've really worked hard to be good at, uh, you know, replay, making sure we're replacing the right guy. So clean those up and we'd, we'd have a lot cleaner night. Tatar, 11 points in 11 games coming into this one, contributes again. What has worked with him in that stretch of games that you maybe didn't see at the start of the season? You know, I think, again, uh, you know, finding ways to, to get in on a, you know, an important goal. I thought that goal at the start of the period was, was a huge goal for us. Um, you know, kind of like the two, they, they got laid uh, on us. But, uh, you know, Tats has got great hands. Uh, he can make plays. Uh, you know, the power play goal the other night, and then again tonight in on, on Nico's goal.